Six Ages Gaming is brought to you by GamersGauntlet.net. Check them out for all your singles, sealed product, and play mats. Hey guys, welcome to another Six Ages Gaming Dual Series video. Uh, today I'm joined by Chase, who's going to be playing the Reflect Necromancy Rush shenanigans. Um, we changed a few things from the list, I think the last, whatever, uh, Richmond was the last event? Whatever the last AGP was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I am playing the Gil Lapis deck that uh, top aided out of Italy. It was a 17 player event, but it's a really, really sweet blue black list, so I enjoy playing it. So we'll uh, roll some dice, figure out who goes first, and we'll be playing some games. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yeah. So I'm 100% going to take the play. And I'm going to trust that your deck is sufficiently randomized. Yeah, I shuffled a lot off camera, so. Cut all your moonstones to the bottom. Um, in my hand, uh, I mean, the only card I really don't want to see in my opener is the Horn of Sacred Beasts. It's something that we want to see later in the game uh, after some kind of mulligan. Barrier is fine, Death Sight's fine because we want to discard off Soul Hunt, and then Space Time is a removal spell, so we're just going to put one to the bottom. I got Double Lancelot in my hand, along with Ruka Cthuga. Uh, so I think I'm going to ship at least one of the last slots and hopefully get a card that's better than that. Oh, Slippery sleeves. New sleeves. <laughs> Alright, got a card that was better than that. Alright, so when the die roll, we'll go first. Um, our hand is, actually we drew into another barrier, so we're just going to play a turn one barrier and pass. Um, not doing much for us right now, but hopefully soon it will be. I will filter. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, I'm going to ship that card. Uh, we'll call stone. Hey, look, it's a red stone. <laughs> uh, Ruke? Yep. I will incarnate a Cthulhu? Yep. We're going to take at least five. Let's switch up with Guadalupe. I will attack for five. And I will go to 35. I will then incarnate another Cthulhu. Yep. And go to 30. And pass turn. Draw. Uh, not that spicy. Let's see if we get a... Uh, well, we do get a blue producing source. Certainly not the best one, but... Um, we're almost certain that he plays Lancelot next turn. The thing is, for our Soul Hunt to be good, we don't need, we don't want to let him have a board. So unfortunately, we have to use space time on our own turn uh, to kill his Cthulhu, just so we can't incarnate it again off something, and then we'll draw a card from the space time. Um, uh, we're still going to discard that. Yep, and we'll just say pass. Turn. Um, I'll call stone. That's slightly depressing. No blue for you. Filter. Shift that to the bottom. I'm going to play a barrier. Yep. And go ahead. All the barriers, all the attacks. No, I'll pass the turn. All right. Draw for turn. Tap. Stone. Um, we could play the Dark Party here, but I feel like leaving up the will for stoning is strictly better. Um, if we play Soul Hunt, you're just going to banish his Guinevere, and we're not getting a ton of value off of it. Um, I think we're just going to play the other barrier. This way we can still leave up will for the space time that's in our yard already. Um, and we're still doing at least something with our will for this turn. Uh, and we'll just say go. Cover. Call stone. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll name red. Cause, sure. Filter. Stop it, you're sounding like Cosmore. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, ship one of these guys to the bottom. Uh, play Lancelot. 
Yep. Uh, attack. Trigger end one. Yep. Uh, we'll pay the two life and kill the Lancelot, oh, which he's going to banish okay. off. Yep. Draw two. Discard one. This doesn't seem very good against you. Nope. And I'll play a second one. Yes, sir. Draw. How many cards in hand? Three cards. Uh, well, actually, that changes a lot. Oh, um, no. Yeah, we, we drew the Lucifer, so we are just going to... Windmill slam a Lucifer because then we can start gaining life on our next turn. Sure. And this forces him to banish a Guinevere. Uh, and we will just say pass. Of course, this makes our soul hunt a little awkward, but I think it's more relevant in this matchup. So we can do uh, space time out of the graveyard and activate the life gain on Lucifer next turn. Yeah, so I'm going to call stone. Yes! <laughs> Meow? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Put in my opening hand. So I'll draw two. One back on top. It's gonna be what is it gonna be? So we'll make it that. And then I'll filter that away. I'll say to shuffle that card you just put to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Um, oh, I guess let's get aggro. Ah oh, man, Gwen, attack you for six. Um, you already use a filter. Oh, you can pump with. Oh, that's only eight da uh, damage. Is there a reason not to block? Oh, you might have Thunder? What have you discarded? Um, so she's a 610. Mm -hmm. Do we have another? Oh, well, she's a 68 right now. She gets plus, oh yeah, plus four to the uh, Yeah, we're just gonna take the six. I don't wanna hit, get a. Uh, oh, I'll pump. Okay. I didn't wanna get Thundered here, and we do have an answer for it next turn. Esther. So, draw. <sighs> um. So we have the Dark Faria that we can use the Awakening to kill it, but then we can't gain the life this turn. We could cat into... No, she has a 8 defense. Um, we are going to... It's a forwarded judgment. Uh, we're going to play the Cheshire Cat first just to see what we draw into and make our decisions from there. Interesting. Uh, we keep the scorn because that way we can see what's in his hand and then decide from there if we want to soul hunt. So we're going to cast a scorn here. Um, seeing that fetal is actually super awkward. Nice scorn. Um, I mean, <laughs> we, we have to take the Cheshire Cat here. We don't want him to filter any more cards. The Cthulhu, you know, if he's casting it for three, we're still feeling fine about that. Um, I will call a stone. That's awkward. Ah, uh, he's gonna banish the Cheshire Cat. Uh, we're gonna Soul Hunt. Uh, we didn't want the top card, and we get to discard the Death Scythe, which we, we can just get back later. I discarded the Cthulhu. Okay. In case you were wondering. So we could pay two life. So we go down to 16, hit your Gwen, take six more. So we gain effectively one life this turn. Um, we don't want him to have the Gwen on board with an Ame just so he can't get aggressive. So this is feels awkward, but we're going to go for the more board control plan. Because uh, then next turn we have a Dark Fire to kill whatever he plays. And with the other space time in our graveyard, he doesn't know that we have another one. It's probably fine to be more aggressive. Uh, so pay two, attack when effectively gain nine and lose six, so 
What did I say? Yeah, so plus three. Yeah. So I did I did math right. Uh, and this way it's tapped out. We don't have to worry about anything for that nature, and then we'll just say pass. So if we ever see the horn in this game, we can filter our graveyard in, then horn and get the death sights back. I will filter. Uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty good, uh, yes. pretty good top deck choice, and we're glad that we got rid of that Cthulhu now. Uh, one card. One card. So it's feet. Oh no, you filtered, so we don't know that it's fetal. Um, or we don't know if it's fetal anymore. Oops. Um, so hold on. So it's two moon and one. Uh, obviously, we don't use the blue source there. So we could technically activate, activate Scorn. Yeah, uh, we're gonna play the other Scorn out of a hand just to make sure, hopefully it's a, yeah. Probably still one of his best cards, so I should just assume that he's keeping that. Huh? Yeah, well, I can activate it and then if you try to swing into it, I can activate it on the next turn, so. We're gonna, let's actually tap the right stones. Uh, we're gonna activate and swing for nine in the air. Yeah, I will take it. Uh, I go to 28. You go to 31. I just realized I didn't call a stone. Me neither. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> uh, well, seeing I was going to judgment, then I remember that the barrier was out there. Um, maybe you play split, maybe you don't, but there's another stone. Uh, sure, that worked out for us kind of well. I uh, will just say pass. Maybe I will not play this next nice turn so badly. Uh... Filter. When? Yep. Judgment. Um, you don't, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just two, right? Yep, just two. Pass. Uh, end your turn before it passes. I'm gonna use a space time out of my graveyard to kill the Gwyn. Oh, you did have one open. Oh, bugger. It's okay. Uh, draw the card. I'm bad too. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I still get to draw the card. Um, whoops. Uh, go into my turn draw. Uh, um, well, we got to draw some spicy stuff at least. Uh, I don't know how much it actually helps us. Oh, and you do have a flipped... Uh, you don't have a way to untap them though, and you probably want to... You probably want to tutor this turn, so you don't care if I play Regalia, I think. I mean, I don't. I can't imagine there's a world where I am holding these, because I'm pretty sure I just want to judgment this turn no matter what. So I'll play globe number, number one. Do you have any effects? Nope. I'll play a second globe. Sure. Um, so it'd be that plus two. And then I can get pitched. I don't have anything to get back. Um... Oh, I have to tap at least one dark stone though. Dark. If I want a judgment. Activation. Uh, one stone short then. So I have to use double globe. I'm just trying to think of what way do I want to tap my will because I still want to be able to lifelink this turn. Or, sorry, gain life this turn. And he doesn't know that I have another one, but I have another space time in my hand, so I want to make sure that I can do both. Uh, because it's four to judgment, I think I do have to tap both my globes, so I lose a little bit of the insurance. Um with those, but I will judgment. I'm gonna respond. Yep. Uh sack of okay. Yep. I'm say part of me does just want to got art now at this point. Can't. Oh, it is plus one. No! Got him. Got him. Uh, get Lancelot? Sure. I'm still responding. Okay. Let me resolve my stuff. <laughs> Draw two. Uh, discard one. He comes into play. I'm going to search my deck for a pitch black moon. You got it, dude. 
maybe. And then I'm also going to remove two Scorns and a Soul Hunt mm -hmm. to get Death Scythe back. Play the Death Scythe. Sure. Um, if I got art, I can get at best. Can't like, get art. Oh, that's right. Keep forgetting about that. Stop it. Stop having stuff. Um, he needs a Guinevere because eventually he does want to put. Uh, Necromancies in the yard, um, and we still, even if he bounces our Lucifer, it's not great value for him. So we're just going to attack his Guinevere. If he wants to bounce it, he bounces it. But that's just uh, how it is. Do you have any responses to the attack? Uh, no, the attack is good. Okay, no effects, just no life link, just doing the attack. Uh, and then we will say go. Uh, tutor? Yep. idea why I let you resolve the tutor, but... <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, we were too focused on trying to resolve two of these to draw two cards instead of trying to cancel his tutor, which would have been strictly better. So, my apologies on that one. I was too focused on trying to get more cards in my hand. I'm gonna filter? <sighs> yep. So, yeah, no, you're good. Like, at this point, we just want to save it for, like, the... if he does another tutor or something. Because we still want to be able to connect with both of these next turn, so we do want to save our will for the removal spell. Also, just don't be like me and be super bad and miss the tutor. Okay. You have an egg. What's a good red card to get? It's dark and warm. So, and meanwhile, we still really need to get ourselves out of the uh, fetal movement burn. Six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine. Yep. Do you resolve? Yep. Trigger? Yep. Pumpkin Witch? Well, that's awkward. Um. Yep. Thank you for seven. So at this point, we don't want him to have another Cthulhu. So it's a seven. You can pump it to nine, and you already filled. Wait, did you filter? Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah, we are just kind of an awkward spot, so we are going to uh, effectively double space time this, just so hopefully it doesn't hit a, another Cthulhu. So first one resolves. Draw. Uh. Pay two life. Resolve it again, draw the other cards. Yep. Uh, three. Yep, 23. Yes. Uh, I can't have the regalia. Yep. Draw. I just realized I didn't tap for the 
cost of the regalia when I judgmented for the tax. Oh, I paid for yeah. the Goddard, not the... That is true. You cannot do that. Failure to uh, maintain a game state for both players? Um... I guess we're just going to see what we draw into first. Yeah. Uh, Cheshire Cat? Sure. Uh, the answer is we're probably going to draw into more Cheshire Cats. I don't, I don't feel great about that. Um, give him the life gain effect. Kill your pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Should have just swung at you for the damage. So apparently I'm playing the how do we stall the game, not the how do we win the game, because <laughs> I am just playing awful tonight, and we'll just 12 you because we're not terrible. All right. uh, and I guess we'll play one more cat because we can. To see one more card down, which does pretty much nothing for us. Uh, and I want to discard this card, but I don't have a discard effect. And if you judgment next turn, you could tutor. Uh, darn it. We need to save the will in case he wants to tutor again, so we are just going to say pass. <sighs> Welcome to another episode of How Not to Play This Deck. <laughs> filter. Yeah, filter's fine. I'm only ever going to cancel the um, tutor effect or if you have Guinevere Pump or something. Call still. Blanking shout. Yeah, that's super awkward. Um, yep. All right, that stupid card. <laughs> Thank you for seven. Uh, no blocks, no effects. Alright, take seven. Uh, my three minus four is sixteen. Then I'm gonna sack it. Go to eleven. Let's try to rookhead. Yep. Movement, yeah? Yep, and that'll be for game. One, two, three, yeah, I already counted. Four, five, <laughs> six, seven, right. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, All right. fifteen, so sixteen. Hundred percent should have won that game if I was not terrible and just would have swung with the Lucifer that last turn. I mean, you also cheated. Too, but so yes, sure. Well. <laughs> uh, we both were just playing awful in that one. So, Ooh, that. do we ever do we complete the sideboard? Is it sideboard for that deck? Uh, there's most of a sideboard. All right, well, we're going to pause this and go into some sideboard games then. Uh, I think I have some number of cards, so we will bring you guys some sideboard matches here in just a moment. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment with what you thought of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Six Age Gaming and check out some of the deck spotlights, dual series, and Force of Community videos that are already on the channel. We also have a Facebook and a Twitter, so feel free to find us there. Lastly, if you have a deck that you would like featured in a video, be sure to drop us a comment below. Until next time, take it easy.